Welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain Earthworks training videos. I wanted to do a quick video to remind you that your newest versions on Earthworks give you what's called text grid option on your main screen. So if I was in an excavator like this digging and I was feeling like my machine wasn't quite level, I have all the traditional ways of checking how I match up against the, the grade or the design in general. One of those is if you go to your layers manager at the top right here, and go to the very bottom of that, there's design line preview, crosshair, and all these other options in here. If you have that on, one way is to know is you've got this green line that comes down right here on the right side, and then a design line preview at the very bottom to kind of help you out, and you obviously have your cut fill left and right. Pretty obvious there. But if you change these main screens around a little bit, you can actually change each one of these into either a text grid or a pitch and roll. So let's go to the three screen view, for example. I'm gonna to touch and hold on the top left and I'm gonna change that to the uh, bubble. So on bubble, I can actually see how my machine is doing where I'm actually sitting, just in general. This has nothing to do with the design. This is an actual, is the machine level or not? Pretty dang close right there. But what you can do is change the other screens to text screen views and also do the same thing. So let's change over here to the split screen again. I'm going to put this right one on plan view to look down on it. And then the left one, I'm going to touch and hold and go to change view. And I'm going to go to the very bottom. There's one right here that says text grid. Now, once I do that, there's nothing in the text grid. I have to add them. So if I touch and hold again, I can edit the text grid and I can add what I want in there real quick. So I can actually go down through this list, go to the very bottom, and I can put in a roll to the side, which is the same thing as that bubble. I could come in here and actually add another one and I could change that one to be, let's say, let's put the pitch in there and I can continue to add these in here. So I can add another one and I can put in there all kinds of different stuff like offline, offline angle, whatever I want, stationing. I could put in body rotation, you name it, whatever helps you as you're actually digging you have all these different options like text grid. Because now if I back up, the machine's gonna pitch a little bit to my left now. And now the machine is sitting at almost a 2% to the left. These things would help you with your uh, bigger attachments. I don't have one on, but if I had a really wide attachment, but I was trying to dig relatively flat or level uh, against my design, I can actually watch cut fill or change these. But these text grid items can be changed on any screen that you want to add or supplement to help you as an operator to see different things. Because if at the very bottom here, you can always swipe over and look through the same exact type of text grids, but you only have four that you can see at a time if you have the screen oriented this way. If it's straight up and down, you only have three. But if you wanted to see more text grids at the exact same time, that's where this option comes into play and would be very helpful. But there again, it's thinking inside the box to know what you have and then outside the box for what you've got outside and what you need. And just knowing your craft, knowing your machine is the most important thing. So just know that you have text grid on here on your newer versions. Thanks for watching this video from SciTech Mountain on text grids.